Hi, my name is Roger Huja, and I'm going to take a moment and show you how the if-then function works in Excel 2010. And so we're going to open up Excel and go to a sample document here. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at this cost column, and uh, we want to add response over here based on whether it's less than 10,000 or greater than 10,000. So we're going to do an equal if, begin parentheses, and then the test, which is um, the field name, is what we're going to use here. So J2, as you can see, this is J and this is 2. So we get to J2 is less than 10,000. Then we're going to put in a 1. And if it's uh, greater than 10,000 or if it's false, um, uh, then we're going to put in 50,000. And we're going to, or 5,000 rather. and um, we're going to hit enter here and as you can see this number is uh, it's false as far as being less than 10,000 so we get a uh, 5,000 there and if we copy this all the way down um, you can see some of these are coming back as um, uh, being one being uh, true and uh, 5,000 being false so here we're going to modify this so what if we want to say J2 less than 10,000 and then we want to say under budget and then if it's false we're going to say it's over budget and then notice I had to put the words in quotes and then now if we copy these down um, you can see that some of them come in as under budget and over budget and that's it